there's a big Corey return tomorrow. Kevin's long lost sister, Debbie Webster, first appeared on The Cobbles 36 years ago. Well, she had a brief visit last year, but tomorrow night we'll see her back for good and she's bringing lots of drama with her. You'd be kind to our Kev, won't you? Kind? You know what I mean. Is this the don't mess me brother about talk? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what this is. Oh, chill your beans, Annie Lennox. I have no intentions of messing him about, all right? Good. And like I say, it'll be nice to get to know you. Properly. Likewise. Oh, what a clip. That's from tomorrow night's episode. Sue Devaney, who of course plays Debbie Webster, joins us now. It's so good to have you back on the streets. Oh, thank you so much and thanks for having me. Yeah, it's uh, it's good fun. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, so to think, it, I mean, Corey was your first TV acting job and you were, what, you were only about 16 at the time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was, um, it was one of my first TV jobs and yeah, I was 16 when I went into Coronation Street and 17 when I left. And now I'm 53 and going back into it. <laughs> it's fantastic. It feels good though, Sue, because I, I think like Debbie is very much your character. I mean, in lots of soaps, when a, an actor leaves, other actors might come in and take over for various periods, but no one's ever done that with Debbie. Well, I mean, this is, this is just your character. It's so nice to go back and play a character that you played years ago, because of course, when you're 16, um, you know, you're just starting out in the world and you have all those feelings of, um, you know, it, it just like you, you can do anything and, uh, you know, you haven't got like life's knocks and stuff like that. So you're just like full on. And it's it's lovely to look back um, at what I used to be like in those days. And actually, you know, my, my friend said when I was really nervous going back and uh, my friend said, yeah, but nobody else can play Debbie Webster. You you know, you made that character. So exactly. it's it's wonderful. I'm loving it. Yeah, I bet you are. And it, of course, I mean, you're going to have to bring a bit of drama with you. There's obviously Ooh. stuff going to happen there with Abby. That's not going to go down too well. <laughs> I know. Well, I love the fact that Debbie Webster, you know, she's she's been living in Turkey and she's a property developer. So, um, so you know, uh, she, she swans in and um, she's she wants to make sure Kev's, you know, being looked after and stuff. And uh, and I think she's a little bit suspicious about Abby because, you know, she she comes in and she sees her with Peter and she thinks, oh, is she is she looking after my brother or is she not? And she's very protective. You know, she's as a younger sister, she's very protective of Kevin. Yeah. I bet. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. You know, just looking at all the old footage there, I remember that first time around, Sue. I really do. I remember your little fresh face. Oh, stop it. You don't I look do, old I, enough. I, I, I am. <laughs> I oh, really am. I just, I could face. watch that stuff all day, honestly. It's so oh, great. It kind of, it fills you with a bit of warmth, doesn't it? I think we all need oh, a bit of comfort yes. watching. Yeah, oh, look at that youthful oh, face you. there. <laughs> yes, and those <laughs> pants, those very trendy pants. <laughs> They've all come back again soon. <laughs> I know, I know. But it was, you know, going back, I, I feel like one of the luckiest actors around at the moment because, you know, I've, I've done a lot of theatre in the last five years and since lockdown, you know, a lot of my actor mates and, and people that are self-employed are really struggling in our profession. So to actually be given this fantastic role in a soap opera, because like, you know, it's, the soaps are the one thing that are keeping going. Yeah. Um, I feel very, very lucky. And I guess there are a few faces still on the street that would have been there first time around. Yeah, well, it was like going back to my mates, you know, and, and seeing everybody again. Because I started off when I was like 14, 15, I started off at Oldham Theatre Workshop. So, you know, I knew Mike Lavelle and uh, Sally Ann Matthews, Jane Hazelgrove. So it's actually like, and, and Anthony Cotton, it's, it's like going in and just having a day playing it, you know, playing with my mates, really. It's nice. <laughs> what is the sort of the working day like now, though? I guess it has changed quite a bit sort of post-COVID. Yeah, well, I was, um, because of lockdown, you know, it's, it is like really strange times and stuff. And, you know, you've got your little bubble of people that you talk to 
So, of course, when I started work after, you know, not working for six months, it was, I couldn't stop talking, obviously, because I hadn't been around people. And it's that contact, isn't it, when you've got contact with other people and stuff. So it was just wonderful. But it's a case of, you know, your costume hangs outside your dressing room door. Um, so you have to, you know, so make sure then. you've got your right gear on and stuff. And then you do your own makeup, which is because um, I'm used to theatre. I thought, well, I'll have to, I'll have to cut back on all this uh, eyeliner and <laughs> glitter. <laughs> so, so you do your own makeup and you've got all your own neck kit and stuff. So it's and and also the you know it's it's a the last year when I went back it was really busy with uh, loads of people around in the offices and stuff. So you haven't got that at the moment. So it is bizarre, but it works really well. And um, and like, you know, the, the cameramen that we normally have, I think in the studio, you normally have three cameras and we've got two. And um, so, but it's a nice way of filming because you tend to do it now in the order. You know, if, you, if you've got like scenes in the studio, you do it in the order that the storyline is. So yeah. it's it's easier in that way. But that way. I guess if, if anyone's going to do it right, it's Corey, isn't it? I mean, they're going oh to make God. it work because we we, yeah. we need it on the telly. It's, it's a bit of normality, isn't it? We saw earlier there, Sue, um, Dinner Ladies, your character Jane getting a slice of toast slapped in the face. Um, oh, yeah. What sort of what was it like working with Victoria, who of course wrote the series, so she had such an invested interest in in the whole program. But it was again, it was one of those shows that just sort of everybody loved. Yeah, it was. I felt very blessed to to have worked with Victoria Wood and Celia Imre, uh, Julie Walters. It was it was scary because she was so. She was such a perfectionist. So, you know, I thought we were going to get there and end up singing around a piano and having a right laugh and, you know, but it wasn't It wasn't that case. It was uh, very much like we did a week's rehearsal and then on the Friday we'd record and whatever she didn't like and it, it didn't feel like it was working, she'd rewrite everything that night. She'd be up all night on the Friday night rewriting and we'd come in on Saturday morning and literally get a new script and have to learn it for the Saturday night audience. Yeah, but that clip with the toast in my face, I thought we did that in one take, but I was reminded that somebody would seen the outtakes and I think it took about seven times. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing what your mind tells you. I thought, oh yeah, we did it in one take. Of course we did. <laughs> so it's such a delight talking to you. Cannot wait to see what's going to unfold for Debbie as well in the weeks and months ahead. Thanks so much for talking to us this morning. Oh, Corey thank continues you so much. tomorrow night, 7.30. Like I need to tell anybody that, but I will, um, on ITV. Thanks so much, Sue. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank Cheers, you. Love. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.